What is up everyone? We are doing a jersey tier list today. So this is all of the jerseys that I've collected over the years. I've always been a fan of underdogs and weird teams, things like that. My dad's traveled, I've traveled, and so I've picked up a bunch of interesting and unique jerseys. And today we're gonna rank them, see which one's the best, which one's the coolest, which ones are kind of boring. That's pretty much it. I have all of the jerseys covered by a little black bar right now. So you guys can't see them until I try them on. Okay, first one. Okay, so this one is a Czech Republic Yarmir Yager hockey jersey. Now, I got this from my stepdad's old partner who worked as an ambassador for Mexico for the Czech Republic. So my dad mentioned that I liked hockey and I liked Yarmir Yager, and I got a Yarmir Yager jersey from him very randomly. And I've treasured it ever since. I've probably had this thing over like 13 years. Pretty crazy. Love the... The, the insignia on the front. What a nice, fun insignia, right? Czech Republic hockey team. I used to play with them a lot in NHL 04. They were my favorite international team to play as, mostly because of Nikolai Hobby Bulin. So now I'm just Hobby Bulin in this jersey, you know what I mean? Okay, so for this jersey, I think it's an A tier. We'll see how it stacks up towards the end, but a legendary player in Yarmir Yager, a wonderful color scheme, pattern insignia, and strong personal connection. That's gotta be an egg. Gotta be an egg. Okay, next jersey, next jersey. It's a hoodie. It's a magnificent coloring day hoodie. Chance the Rapper's celebratory concert for when he released Coloring Book. But if you notice on the back, it's a jersey sweatshirt, but this is a jersey. Lil Chano from 79. So here's the question though. Where does it rank? I like this hoodie. It's very comfortable. It's a little pricey given what it was because it was tour merch for a concert. It's also a little boring, but it is unique, which is why I think it has to go into B tier for now. We'll decide, I think maybe, you know, how high up on B tier it really is, but I'm pretty happy with this as a article of clothing. The reason I wanted to put this one on is because I have a few jerseys that I think look better with a hoodie. So I'm going to keep this on while we try a few of our next jerseys. Okay, now this is a fucking jersey. Am I right or am I right, frat bros? Our fraternity was one of four teams to play in a charity hockey tournament in Northwestern for dropping the puck on cancer. This was awesome because I loved playing goalie and I've always wanted to be an ice hockey goalie, but I can never skate very well. So I played floor hockey and I was the goalie for our I am floor hockey team. Senior year, we were champions, let that be known. One of the players on our intramural team was the captain of the club ice hockey team. And he was like, hey, we're doing this tournament thing. You should play on ice. And I was like, yes, but also, ha, uh, I was super nervous because I didn't, I can't skate very well. I can skate well enough to go around circles, but I can't like play hockey. You know what I mean? That's a whole nother level of skating coordination. I get the pads, I'm all set up and I'm just like pre-game a wreck. The first game, we were playing two games, basically. If you won, you'd play the second game. And our team was really good. And we were warming up and I like, couldn't even stay in the net. Like I kept on scooting further forward each time. So I was just like, oh fuck. Like this is gonna be fucking terrifying. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm like freaking out. And eventually one of, and I'm so out of shape that like just standing and trying to stay centered was so much harder than any other exercise I've been doing in college that year. Eventually the captain of the team like comes over to me and it's just like, Seth, just relax. You're going to be fine. Like our team's nasty. We're playing one of the, the, the not as good teams. Like you'll be fine for this game. Don't worry about it. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know, like freaking out, right? whatever. Finally the game starts and we won that game nine to nothing. I touched the puck like three times, so my nerves are a little bit steadier. Our team's nasty. We're scoring, we scored nine goals, right? Destroying. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. And the next game rolls around and it's like fucking four hours later because, you know, another team has to play in the middle. The next game rolls around. A lot of our team that had been there for the first game was not there for the second part of the game. So we had like went from like nine to like 10 people on the team to like seven or eight people are on the team and we lost like two or three of the best players. And we're playing the best team. It's the finals, basically. It was only four teams in the tournament, so the winners play each other. And they got a bunch of people from the club hockey team. They got a bunch of people that know how to play hockey and know how to skate. It's a little scary, but at this point, I'm like a little bit more confident. I'm, I'm into it, I'm down. 
So the game starts, we play, and I'll cut to the chase. We get to the third period, and it is seven to four. And so we are up seven to four, but we are all tired. Everyone on our team is just fucking gassed. And I've been playing well at this point. Only let in four goals. Pretty good. They've figured out that we are too tired and just begin to pass around us. And so every single play, they're basically just coming down, passing around the outside until they can pass across the middle of the goal and just take advantage of the fact that I can't move laterally left to right. And it happens three times. And all of a sudden it's 7-7 and there's like a minute and a half left. And we're just like, ah, oh, fuck. Like maybe we can get to like a penalty shootout or something like that. And we get a really good chance and their goalie makes a great stop. And it comes back the other way. There's like a minute left and they just score a breakaway goal on me. They won. But I got to keep the jersey. And you know what? I love it. It's got my number, 35, for Mike Richter over here. The OG goalie homie that I loved, Mike Richter. So with all that being said, this is an S tier for me. Now, it might get bumped down because I do have some other pretty cool jerseys. But this is a thing that reminds me of a very specific and fond period of my life. So I very much enjoy the fact that I have it. For frat stuff, it's hit or miss. But I think as far as frat memorabilia goes, it's pretty cool. Next, jersey. Dirtbag D'Emploi Collabo 2015. This is my friend Phil's clothing company, Dirtbag Design. So everyone should go check out, I think it's what, dirtbag.us? Yeah, dirtbag.us, my friend Phil, has a wonderful clothing brand that I've been so happy and proud to watch grow since we were friends in middle school. He's done work with Kanye, Tyler the Creator. Go check it out, okay? It's cool stuff. I wanted to wear a hoodie with this because it's a little big. A little big. I feel like a doctor going in to do a, uh, a procedure, you know? Scalpel. I think that this is a B2. And I say that because I can't wear it a lot. I have to wear it with a hoodie. I gotta keep it open, right? But because it's for my friend Phil, because it is very drippy, has to be in B tier at least. You used to play on a travel team called the Dirt Bags. Why did you guys have a travel team called the Dirt Bags? What is, who named your team? You're a bunch of kids going around calling yourselves dirtbags. Next jersey. Speaking of former MLB players, Jose Canseco jersey. Funny thing about Jose Canseco, he's got a weird Twitter. I spoke with some aliens the other day, and they didn't even like A-Rod. They call him a Clato Baratanito. I have no idea what that means, and I probably shouldn't have just said it like that, you know? And with that in mind, I'm an A's fan. I've been an A's fan my entire life. I've never had an A's jersey until I bought this jersey. Now, there's a problem with this jersey. It's a little big. It's a little baggy. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you got the long sleeves, a little baggy. With that being said, it's also got its cool factor of being Jose Canseco, because out of all the people to have a jersey for, disgraced for their steroids use. Jose Canseco is arguably the funniest. And I think it's low B. I think it's cool. I don't think it's incredibly cool. I don't think it's incredibly cool to have a Jose Canseco jersey, but I don't think it's cool to have a Jose Canseco jersey. You know what I mean? Now this, this is a fucking jersey. You got the Denver Nuggets, Chauncey Billups. So now here's the thing. I got this jersey in Portland at a thrift store. And as you can tell, it is quite large. That's my belt, right? It's a big boy. But with that being said, it still looks fucking fire. It was a perfect thrift shop find. It's an A tier. This has gotta be an A tier. It's swaggy, fun colors, a unique player. It's embroidered, high quality thrift shop find. Next. Now I know what you're thinking, Seth, that looks like a pretty plain jersey. Let me tell you a story. Do you know what CBC stands for? Connecticut Basketball Club. Why don't we do a quick Google? Whoa, would you look at that? Andre Drummond, Chris Dunn, other people I've never heard about and don't really care about. Now, if you know a little bit more about me, you'll know that I'm not very good at basketball. I do play, but I'm not that great. But I went to Greens Farms Academy 
And we had a player named Sean Obi, who one of the kids from our school adopted from Nigeria. And this is Sean. Sean went on to play at Maryland and Duke and Rice. His senior year, our senior year, Sean gave me this jersey because we were friends. And he was like, here, do you want this? And I said, sure. And you know what? I love it. What a wonderful gift to remember Sean Obi by. Now I can recognize it is a little bit boring, which is why it's high B tier for me. Cool story behind it, sentimental value. Sean Obi, NCAA champion. This could be worth something one day. And by worth something, I mean, it'll be worth something to me always. Okay, we're doing this one next because it's very relevant to the one we just saw. Hoop it up, three on three, NBA, NBC Sports, collabo. Now, why do I have this? What is this? You remember that kid I said that adopted Sean Obi? Well, guess what? His dad, he was a big basketball fan, which is why he said, hey, do you wanna play basketball at my son's high school? He got invited to some, you know, 90s era, NBC Sports sponsored three on three tournament and was given this penny. And I saw Hunter bring it for senior versus faculty basketball game. And everyone wore costumes. This kid had brought this thing in and I was like, oh, that's sick. I want to wear that. And he was like, yeah, like maybe. And I was like, okay, sounds good. You know, like I'll buy it off. And he was like, oh, I don't know. Like it's my dad's. I'm like, okay, can I wear it for the, 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 the basketball game though? The senior, you know, faculty basketball game. Yeah, and uh, I just never gave it back. He never asked for it back, which was the thing. Like, uh, look, I'll give it back, that's fine. But like, I, it's not my job to remember to give it back, right? You know what I mean? So yeah, I sold the jersey. As for where it stands on our ranking, I think just because of the color, the color alone, this this turquoisey teal color reminds me of those like 96 NBA All-Star jerseys. I think that has to put it in B tier. It's above C. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean? It's like an ironed on thrift store design. It's massive. There's nothing on the inside. It's just black. Next. I know what you're thinking. It's not really a jersey. It's just kind of a t-shirt that says Microsoft Soccer, but they did have numbers on them. These were our jerseys. Now I have the same exact thing in silver. I got this because I work at Microsoft and I was the corporate co-ed team goalie when we went on a tournament to play in Beaverton, Oregon versus other companies. Other companies like Adidas, Nike, Intel. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it, but I was sad that the Microsoft soccer jerseys were, were just fucking t-shirts. It's a nice t-shirt, don't get me wrong. It's a good workout shirt, but I was expecting a little bit more. And of course, we have to figure out where it stands on our rankings. And I don't think you'll be surprised to see it in D tier. Next, Jersey. You see this WPS? That stands for Windows Phone something. I don't know if it was soccer or not. This was the first team I played on in like the Microsoft Soccer League. Higher quality jerseys here in the sense that they're actually a jersey. You know, you got an insignia. You got a, a sponsor logo. You got your name on the back. Not a bad jersey. I'll put it in C. Up next, the Leicester City Emmanuel Conte jersey. Cool jersey. I like the sleeves. You got this gold piping. Again, we're back with a Puma kit. You got the King Power. Good sponsor. Who doesn't like Emmanuel Conte? Nicest dude in football. Works his ass off. Here's kind of the problem with it. A little boring. Top of C tier. It's cool, it's a step up, but there's not, not a lot to distinguish this between any of the other jerseys. It's, it's just a soccer jersey. You're just wearing a soccer jersey. I think we can be okay with just putting a soccer jersey in C tier. Oh, up next we got a tree. Look at this. Now this is a jersey. This is another thrift shop find. I actually found this at the same place that I found the Chauncey Billups jersey. Sundico Premier, never heard of this brand. It is a goalie jersey though. It's got pads on it, see? It's literally a soccer goalie jersey. It's got the number on the back. Dope pattern, thrifted, specifically for my position as a goalie in soccer, which is why we obviously have to put this one, at least for now, top of age here. It's like this thing was made for me. When you go to a thrift store and you look for a vintage jersey, this is what you're looking for. Next, simple, clean, 
straightforward. The Tottenham Hotspur Luka Modric jersey. Tottenham was my first ever team that I liked, a soccer team, like real, you know, Premier League soccer. And so I really liked this jersey. My dad got it while he was traveling in London. I asked him, I said, hey, you pick me up a Tottenham jersey? And he said, sure, let's think about where we should put it. It's got a little bit of style, but again, it's just a pretty standard soccer jersey. That's why I think it needs to be top of C tier. Okay, we're almost done. I've been keeping the ultra swag for last. A lot going on, I know. You got this rainbow patch, CSC. It's made by Hummel. It's got the words Woodstock on it, allies. What is this? I'll tell you. When I was traveling in Europe after graduating, I went to Christiania in Copenhagen. Cool little spot. Now, if you don't know anything about Christiania, it's basically an anarchist commune in the middle of Copenhagen. So the police have an agreement basically not to go in there. They don't police there. What that means is that you can go buy drugs there and it's totally chill. I went to Christiania and I'm walking around and I see these jerseys. Love the color scheme. It's weird. You got these weird shoulders. Cool emblem. What's not to like? I think that this is one of the coolest jerseys I own. So much so, it's at the top of the A tier. Cool story, cool club from a cool place. And it brings me fond happy memories of walking around Europe with nothing to do but hang out and meet people. It was great. Okay, okay. We featured some of Phil's clothing before with other dirtbag designs, but this is my favorite. You've got the Fiorentina dirtbag embroidered. God, I'm really bad at pointing. Dirtbag embroidered Fiorentina jersey. Best part about it? It's a Mutu jersey. Who is Mutu, you ask? Oh, well, let me show you. Who else but Adrian Mutu? Fiorentina striker extraordinaire, 2007, 2008. Now, I'll be honest, I'd never heard of this person before until I got this jersey. No tricky. Mutu's not related to Candace. How about you come over here and show me Candace Mouth fit over my two nuts. Are you happy? I love this jersey. It's purple, my favorite color. It's sentimental. It's from one of my best friends and his clothing brand. It has to be an S tier for me. Out of all the soccer jerseys I own, this is the one that I think is the coolest. It's ultimately perfectly set in a way that a purple embroidered jersey of a random Serie A player can only be. Now for this last one, I don't even need to change because maybe you've seen it already. Now, what is that, you ask? Oh, just a Tampa Bay Lightning autographed Martin St. Louis jersey that says, to Seth, all the best, Marty St. Louis 26. How did I procure such a thing, you ask? I was a camp counselor at Camp Playland in New Canaan, Connecticut, Marty St. Louis. He lived in Darien, Connecticut, owned a gym called Blue Street. He had played hockey at UVM. University of Vermont. One of the kids on my bus that I was a bus counselor for, his dad went to UVM. He used to play pickup hockey games with Marty. One day, this kid enters onto my bus and is like, hey, there's this charity event that Marty St. Louis is showing up to. I know you really like Marty St. Louis. I can get you tickets. And I'm like, oh, sick. Nice. And I take my girlfriend at the time. We go to the hockey rink. We watch this charity hockey game. A couple of famous NHLers besides Marty. Max Pacioretty was there. I think Jonathan Quick was there as well. Unfortunately though, Marty couldn't be there. He organized the whole thing, but he couldn't actually show up to the event that day. I think he actually was in the process of getting traded from the Lightning to the Rangers. And I saw the kid from my bus after the game ended. And I'm wearing my Marty St. Louis jersey. The kid looks at me and he's like, hey, I'm really sorry that Marty uh, wasn't here. And I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. Like, thank you so much for giving me the tickets, like everything. And his mom's standing right there. And she's like, if you want, you can give me your jersey and I'll get it signed by Marty for you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I'm like taking it off. I hand her the jersey. A couple weeks go by. I'm on my bus route and the kid walks up the bus and he's carrying a, a, a paper bag and he's smiling and he sits down at the back of the bus with me. And he was one of the kids I would talk to a lot on the bus because he was a little bit older. And he's smiling. He's like, I've got a surprise. And I'm like, I, I have no idea. And he's like, here. 
and he hands me the fucking paper bag. And I open it and I see it's my Tampa Bay Lightning jersey. And I'm like, oh, right. And I pull it out and it says, to Seth, all the best, Marty St. Louis 26. And I was just like, holy shit, that's crazy. I've had this jersey since 0304, right before the Lightning won the World uh, the World Cup, right before the Lightning won the Stanley Cup, because I loved playing with the Tampa Bay Lightning in NHL 04. In NHL 04, how the camera was oriented, you'd either go up or down. And so I liked coming down the rink with the Lightning because they had fast winners. And so you could just cut down and then you deke left and right with the C-stick and then you would just score easy breakaway goals. So like I would play my babysitters and just trounce them like 20 to five. And Marty was the sickest player at that because he was fast as shit and he had a yellow stick. He was just swaggy. And so I got this jersey and I saw Tampa Bay Lightning games at Madison Square Garden versus the Rangers. I had people call me gay because I was a fucking kid wearing an, an enemy, you know, jersey. And so I'm with my gay dad and people are like, hey, nice jersey bag. My dad just being like, I don't know what to do. I don't like sports. And like people are calling my son homophobic things. It was great. It was the perfect New York experience. So yeah, it's one of my pri most prized possessions because why wouldn't it be? It's one of my favorite players of all time and childhood idols signed my fucking jersey i remember when i asked my dad he was like this is the jersey you want because it was like an official one it's got like you know all the embroidered patches and everything and it was fucking expensive it was the first jersey i ever bought that was like really expensive and i was like yeah this is it like i'm gonna i'm gonna have this for life and you know what i was right it's at the top of s it's the very top how could it be anything else and with that we have our ranking and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing where all of my cool and wacky jerseys come from. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, check out some more of my stuff. I got plenty of stuff on different topics ranging from animal collective music videos to MXC, which I just released last week. Give it a look and uh, have a good day.